Hi, you've Ooh. reached the Sellers oh. residence. Tell us something good. Your daughter is such a hot piece of ass. Best sex I ever had. She's a screamer, did you know that? Made me crazy. Especially when she screamed, Mom. Well, I... Pervert! Who's that? How should I know? It was a prank call. If that's one of your little friend's idea of a joke... Maybe it's one of Kaylee's lame friends. Where's your sister? Ma, it was just some random loser. She should have been home by now. Why do you have to make a big deal out of everything? You need to finish my dress. Shh. Hello? Kaylee? It's Mom, can you hear me? <laughs> Kaylee can't come to the phone. Kaylee! I will give you everything I own. Please, just don't hurt her anymore. Please, let her come home, please. Hatchel and Langen is putting up a $10,000 reward for any information That's all we need. to whereabouts. Calls can be directed to the SVU tip line. Here comes the crap storm. No one goes home. Everybody's on overtime. There's going to be a lot of leads to track down. Mostly from the Fruit Loop Brigade. We just fired one of our other messengers because we caught him making stops at strip clubs. Do you think he abducted Kaylee? No, but he's the reason we started giving our messengers cell phones, and they're all equipped with GPS chips. Kaylee's cell is number two. Not only is it turned back on, she's moving. We're on the block. Halfway down the block, moving slowly. She could be in a trunk in the back of a van. Seriously, Daddy's got her sitting right beside him. Just came to a dead stop. Sir, we're going to have to ask you to empty the contents of your vehicle. What the hell for? Guy tossed evidence from a felony crime. You picked up the lucky bin. Ma'am, I'm at the end of my run. I got, I got a full load in there. You may have tossed in a girl as well. Hey, I, I just compressed. She was alive when she went in. She ain't no more. Excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I've seen the girl you're looking for. When? Just before the press conference. She was terrified. Man had her by the hair. I didn't get a real good look at him, but his eyes were very distinctive. One brown, one blue. Okay, where was this? I had a vision. Look, I know what you're thinking. Of course you do, you're psychic. <sighs> you believe I'm mentally ill. He's good. My name is Sebastian Ballantyne. The Sebastian Ballantyne? You've heard of me. No. Stabler, uh, Officer Baxter, would you please show Mr. Ballantyne out? This way, sir. Jake Ostrander. Kaylee's old high school boyfriend. When did they break up? Last summer. Were they still friendly? No. She hated him. Chloe, where's your mom right now? She's in Kaylee's room. Doing a reading. What kind of reading? Yes, I'm sensing her essence now. She's very sweet. That woman is out of her mind with worry. She doesn't need your help. I keep seeing a serial port and a computer cord. Does that mean anything to you? Maybe you met her over the internet. Yes, I'm seeing that. No, you're not. Computer crimes went over Kaylee's computer. The no suspicious emails. She never visited a chat room, you pathetic fraud. What about water? I see it under flowing water, but she's not wet. That doesn't really make sense, does it? The amazing Ballantine is back. I was wondering if you'd collected any evidence you'd like me to perform a reading on. No. Yes. Detective Benson, show me room. But Captain, well, Captain, he's completely snowed the mother. I just wanted to stop bothering her and us again. This isn't a babysitting service. So we dump him in the room and leave him there until he figures it out. Tip line has received over 300 calls. All our rooms are full. So we stuff him in the urinal. Mr. Pegg, what are you doing here? She saw the report on Kaylee's cellar. During my regular condom run, I warned the working girls that there was a man snatching young women off the street. And Bernadette here thinks she may run into him. You're a prostitute, and you're a madam. No, I'm a nun. What are you? I'm a psychic. Why are you looking for Kaylee? She was abducted and raped. Do you know anything about that? I just think she was asking for it. What the hell does that mean? Can I show you something? Biddingroom.com. She didn't have that on her home computer. Probably because her runt sister was too nosy. Well, what was she buying? I think it has to do with what she was selling. Her virginity. I'm an 18-year-old girl struggling to make tuition. 
The high bidder will win my virginity. Rare opportunity. Serious bidders only. Are the bidders listed? Yeah, all 500 of them. How are you going to pay for the virgin? I was going to sell off my Hummel. She was way past your price range, but you just had to have her anyway, didn't you? They found Kaylee in Hell's Kitchen. Look at your strangulation. Never hasn't even set in yet. She's only been dead a couple of hours. No. No. What? That water pipe. What about it? Sebastian described it. She said she'd be found under flowing water, but she wouldn't be wet. Where is he? Who? I let that girl die. Oh, yeah. She was still alive. We had him before he killed her. Who? Valentine. It's Valentine. I don't know how, I don't know why, but he did it. Try looking under your mouse pad. You're still here. Of course. You never left this building. Does astral projection count? You knew she'd be found under flowing water. How'd you know that, huh? I have a gift. Sometimes it's more of a curse. Best sex I ever had. That's you. Doesn't sound anything like me. A crime lab is running that through a filter and an audio scrubber. They will get a voice ID. Ask them to put a rush on it. Can somebody help me? My husband's been here since last night. He called at 2 a.m. and said he'd be home soon, but we're still waiting. I'm going out of my mind. What's your husband's name? Sebastian Valentine. Sir Peg's room is right down here. Sister Maria came in looking for her. Found that. Check out the logo. Kaylee Sellers clothes. It's a message for us. Screw you. He dumped them here, and then he took Sister Peg? Well, I wasted all my time with that idiot Sebastian. Sebastian met her. When? Last night at the precinct, he talked to her. She even mentioned St. Anne's. But he was with us. Why would he go after Sister Peg? Kaylee was selling her virginity on the internet. Sister Peg's a nun. In his sick mind, that means she's a virgin. Just like Kaylee. Hey! Valentine! Back in your house, lady. There's nothing to see. Has he lost his mind? You tell them to get out of there. Now. But you can get us a search warrant, right? No. Finn, let me call you back. Patrol just picked up the Valentines at an all-night car wash, hosing out the back of their van. This program isn't registered to Sebastian Valentine. Who's it registered to? Henry Palaver. That's got to be his mystery partner. Give an address? Yeah, in Canada. We ran Sebastian's prints, no criminal record. APHIS doesn't include Canadian prints. Looks like the Palavers have only been in the States for six months. Living under the name Valentine, the wife took on an assumed identity. She's got to know something. How many girls were there? Me. Twelve. Who were they? Usually hitchhikers. Up in Canada. They thought nothing of getting into a van with a nice married couple. Carlene Sebastian was here when Kaylee was killed. I couldn't let him go back to jail. Not when it was my fault. How was it your fault? Yeah, Henry. How is it her fault? I wouldn't have had to rape virgins if she'd been one. She swore to me that she was untouched when we met. Why'd you come here? Hmm? You know, if you hadn't, you might have gotten away with it. <laughs> well, I had to see what I'd set into motion. Your expressions were priceless. Hmm. This place is like a beehive that I poke with a stick. Head's been split open. I got a pulse. I got a pulse. Oh. Sister Peg. Sister Peg. Hey. Hey. It's okay. It's you have to save the baby. Oh, my God. The baby is fine. He was never in any danger. He was. He was. On the drive here, she was. She was yelling at him. Said, uh, it was his fault. His, his, Daddy still needed to. She said, uh, she must have picked a bad baby. Six months ago in Montreal, Danette Lancourt was eight and a half months pregnant. 
Someone cut the fetus out of her. I couldn't stand seeing Sebastian with those other girls. I did everything he asked. It was never enough. I thought if we could be a real nuclear family, that would fix everything. <laughs>